Hello friends, welcome to ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we will see how to highlight a specific row in a data grid view. So, we will see how to do this highlight at runtime. And in this example, we will be taking a price that is more than 20 and we will take that and do the row highlight. So to highlight a row, we need to handle row data bound event. So this will be called for each row when it is uh, getting bound to the uh, data source control. Let's call data source in our examples. So if you see here, we have the event argument, right? Grid view row event arc E. So we make use of this E and we get the row and this will give us grid view row so one row entry it will give and we are referring that as a row then we are checking that the row type is actually a data row so we don't want header row and other if there is any footer we want to skip all those and we want just the data rows so in our data grid view when row data bound is happening for the data row type we are uh, getting inside the if condition so if row type is data row we are getting in then here we we are making call to eval so this will evaluate the data row value so e dot row dot data item price so this is what we are evaluating and this will give us a object we need to convert that to the specific data type right data binder evaluate from these event arguments we are picking the current row data item is price so that's what we are evaluating data item and price so if you want some other data column you can specify the column name here but uh, we want to retrieve the or fetch the price that's why we are retrieving that here object then we are converting or typecasting it to decimal now we have price in hand right and remember this event will get called for each and every row why because this is the event handler for data row bound suppose if our sql data source is supplying four rows of data for the grid view and here we are talking about the price column upon all available columns right so this specific event routine will be called for four times for each time it will make a call to row data bound that means row data bound event will be raised when the data source is supplying the data for this data grid view so each time when it supplies or when it binds a row to the data source control that time the event routine is called and we are picking the price right based on this price if it is greater than 20 we will do the highlight so now we are at row level right row dot back color we are setting it as black and row dot four color we are setting it as white so this is happening when the rows are bound to the data source control right from here we have sql data source and that is supplying the data and binding each data grid row and the event will get fired for each row bind event right the event will get fired for each row bind and we take the price then we set back color and four color properties all right now let's go to the demo all right now we will add a new form
since we used the form many time it will be available here in the recently accessed list or you can go to new item do the search and get the web form here we will be using grid view 06 row highlight Now from toolbox we will drag and drop data grid view and we will bind this to a data source. DS titles. We will use the existing pubs connection string and we will pick data from titles title type as well as price next and we will be highlighting these uh, highlighting the rows where book cost is more than 20. All right. Now we will click this uh, grid view and choose uh, properties. Then go to events. So here we will handle this event. Fires after a row has been data bound. So if it returns 10 rows for each row, this will get called. And now we will be handling this event. Since we already explained the code in the PowerPoint slide, you can see we are making use of the event talks. We are getting the row. Since it will be called or the event will be fired for each row, we will be getting the row. Then we are checking the row is data row. All right. By using the row type E dot row dot row type equal to we are checking the enumeration data row all right then here we are retrieving the price and the price we are making sure this is not shown in the powerpoint slide once we retrieve the price we are checking the data type if a price is actually a decimal if that is the case then we convert the data object right that one is we are making the typecast and after that we are setting the back color and the four color we will rebuild this solution and run it that's all now you can see the book with uh, price more than 20 those rows are highlighted there are three rows at present and in our data grid view these rows are highlighted and we are doing that at runtime by handling the data bound event that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye